Bell Plain is curbing some of the ways they use water after dealing with drought conditions for the better part of four years. Iowa's News Now reporter Cedric Bolton III checks in from Bell Plain. City officials tell me the city is down by about four feet in waterfall. The recent rain has helped the city, but a few storms are not enough to take them out the drought. We kind of broke the town up so that people could, on the north side of town, could use water on certain days and people on the south side would use water on opposite days. The city approved that plan last month as the city's wells are still below what they consider comfortable levels. But things are getting better thanks to the recent rain. People in town say their tap water used to be a brownish yellow. It's never been deemed unsafe to drink, but I don't encourage anybody to drink water that's discolored. So we've been trying to work with different entities to have some kind of bottled water option here. City officials say their wells are up to about eight feet of water now. They had been nearly empty at one point. And now after the slow rains that came in and then the the stronger rains then flooded the area. The U.S. Drought Monitor says Bell Plain is abnormally dry now, out of the drought, but not totally out of the woods yet. I'm optimistic that we're going to be able to do more main flushing and get some of the sediment out of the line. That'll improve the water quality for everybody. City officials say they'll continue to monitor the water levels and hopefully loosen the water restrictions put in place. In Bell Plain, Senator Bolton III, Iowa's News Now. And we'll get a look at the drought progress in Iowa after the break. We'll zoom out from Benton County to check in on the rest of the state. That is next on Iowa's News Now. For the first time in almost four years, the entire state is out of drought status. It doesn't mean there aren't still some dry spots out there, though. Weather well, First Meteorologist Garrett Hyde gets us a look at all the progress this rain has been making. And over the past few weeks, we've seen a substantial amount of rainfall across the state and especially here in eastern Iowa. This, of course, has led to a rapid improvements to the drought conditions across the state. In just three months, we have gone from 84% of the state under drought conditions to just zero. This has been in large part due to the large amount of rain we've received over this past spring. Areas in eastern Iowa have picked up anywhere from about an inch and a half to nearly six and a quarter inches of rain since March 1st. This helped a lot of our stream flows restore our groundwater. This helps restore ponds for livestock and ponds that are used for irrigation. Those are all good things, but on the flip side, when we uh, are having enough rainfall and that is eliminating these droughts, that also means we are often going to see areas of ponding or pose a problem for having those workable days to do field work. And those workable field days have slowed progress a bit across the state. Since late April, when crop planting was ahead of schedule, we have seen our crop progress fall behind throughout this month. Fortunately, we're not too far behind just quite yet, but we are getting to the point where farmers will have to decide whether or not they'll need to replant any areas that were damaged by standing water or change the strand of corn. But as we leave the optimal planting window, the maximum yield a farmer will be able to harvest before the fall frost will rapidly decline. We'll have to wait and see if the consistent rains will continue through the rest of the summer. Otherwise, the root depths for some of our crops may be too shallow to handle another dry stretch of weather throughout the summer months. From the patio, I'm meteorologist Garrett Hyde with Iowa's News Now.